Hello there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nirav, and in this session, I'll be doing a rate wave analysis of gold and looking at possible targets for the same and the wave progressions that is, the ways in which this market can progress. So, before moving any further, let's uh, have a look at the bigger picture that is uh, the higher time frame count basically. So, let me switch to the weekly chart. I have discussed this count in much more depth in one of my YouTube videos. You can find it on the top of the playlist titled Gold Elliott Wave Analysis. I will put the link in the description for the same. So basically the main count or the main view as of now is that we are after this high in a, at least a double zigzag kind of correction at least till now and we have ABC followed by X and another ABC and this is either an X wave or the start of a new leg up something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so that is the main view at least as of now and uh, previously I was of the view that uh, let me go to the last uh, post that I made ok so in the last video I discussed uh, these two possibilities the first one was basically a bearish possibility in which I stated that after this uh, 5 lag up this would be wave 1 and should be followed by a zigzag kind of wave 2 if I draw it in the free area so I was basically expecting this wave 1 followed by an A B C and uh, this was supposed to be the A wave this was supposed to be the B wave and which was bound to be followed by a C wave at least as per this analysis and uh, I also stated in that analysis that if market holds above this region of say what around 1245 something and 12 this is like 20 let's say 20 so if market holds above this region and takes it as a support then this count is not uh, likely to be followed and in that case scenario for that case scenario I discussed another count and which I also posted here on trading view and also on my website I do post uh, all the important articles on my website with a little bit more of commentary so if you are really interested you can check that there so basically this was the bullish possibility in which I state that if uh, this region is taken as support this red box basically then I expect the market to follow this uh, bullish wave count in which we have the wave 2 completing over here okay so if the wave 2 is complete over here then obviously we are in the starting or impulse leg of the third wave which will go up like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then followed by a 3 wave down and then third of the third will basically follow it so the second analysis states that the or this analysis that you are seeing right now on screen states that the second wave has completed over here whereas the previous analysis stated that the second leg will complete after this leg down the point of differentiation was our basic knowledge of price action and let's see how this market progressed okay so as you can see it has clearly taken support over this support region very clearly the market is reversing at this red box so basically this leads me to believe that uh, this is the preferred count and this is the one we should be following while trading this market or looking for opportunities in this market okay so that was all that I discussed in the last video after that I published a new post called looks like bullish count will play out and this article was published two days ago and in this article I am basically stating that uh, this market has taken support over this region and um, as per this count um, I thought that 1260 should actually act as 
resistance and there are basically two reasons we have this previous high coming at 1260 and also the wave counts are completing at 1260 region so i was thinking of taking some or looking at some short side opportunities near 1260 and let's see how the market progressed after that So as you can see it basically formed a reversal candle right after this uh, forecast and it's the 4 hour chart. So from here you can see clearly that Elliott waves are really helpful while trading and I would say that they are really really powerful. This exact high was respected here which I thought would be the high was actually the exact high. So let's look at the possibilities that exist now. So basically now we are of the view that the wave 2 has ended over here and this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 kind of progression. This wave 3 can be put it at different positions, can be counted over here also and then 4 over here. But that is not much of a matter as of now because I believe that we are heading for 3 legs down. And as of now, let me remove these arrows that I drew previously. And as of now, the market is moving in a downward channel or a bull flag, whichever way you would like to think of it. And uh, if I draw the trend lines over here, then you can see that uh, that this market is basically in this downward channel okay so this clarifies one thing that uh, we will be looking for bullish opportunities once this uh, complete wave progression is finished that is basically i would like to see market move in this channel for a while maybe it can break lower and once this upper trend line wherever it comes out to be is broken and taken support over then we would be looking for upside opportunities or upside trading opportunities so that is just a rough view how the market can progress let's look at the downside targets for this market basically we have this uh, complete leg up from this point on so this would be our point of reference and I will be using this Fib retracement tool starting from the starting point of wave 1 to the ending point of wave 1. So this wave is basically the first of the third as the second wave was completed here. So this leg up is a third wave and a third wave contains itself of five waves something like this and in this five wave progression we are here we have completed the first wave and we are going down for this second wave so now we will be looking at this target for the second wave and generally i like to look at the target for the second wave around the 50 60 percent retracement region so basically this area as per fibonacci retracement can act as a good support for this market to complete this wave count Another thing I would like to look at is the price action that is the left side of the chart basically. We do have support coming in at this region and then again we have some support over here, over here and uh, obviously this will act as the primary support. This would be the level of uh, around uh, the region of uh, 12. 33 and uh, this region comes down till this support region comes down till this level of uh, 1222 or let's say 1220 so basically we are covering a little bit of the 50 60 mark but uh, a little above that the major support is coming in so that would be the price level 
where we would be looking for the completion of this three leg down and after that we would look for impulsive structures up what would basically happen is that this market can come down either as a flat or as a zigzag and uh, after that count is completed we will have a break of this high of 1260 as soon as this high is broken we must be in the third of the third that is generally the case not always and uh, that would be our basically long trading swing type of opportunities so you can look at two types of trades here basically in a correction it's generally hard to predict the internal wave structure movement why wave is already progressing and uh, hence it becomes uh, a bit harder to do swing trading you can do always intraday by using trend lines and all that so for the swing kind of traders the best opportunities will come when the market is near this region of support fib support as well as price action support and as soon as the market reaches this level we will be looking at the wave counts which would become clear as the market progresses and see which waves are completed and then look for reversals basically we can get long in this region if we see reversals or above this high of 1260 the strategy would be either to buy on pullback or to buy on breakout okay so pullback we will be looking near 12.30 to this fib region of 12.20 and for breakout we will be looking to buy above 1260 so this would be the two type of uh, basically swing type of opportunities that we can look at at least as of now some other things that i would like to point out here is that um, obviously since this is the second leg completing over here then it can be that this leg is actually not a one two three four five as i have previously counted it it is possible that it is some kind of abc x abc it actually fits pretty well in that however it looks too impulsive and that's why i previously counted it as one two three four five and if that is the case that this is a b c x a b c or something like that i mean a corrective structure basically so if that is the case then we can look at this complete progression as wave one completing over here and two completing over here rather than this one completing over here followed by a b c a b c and then one two three four five so basically the current count of this chart is that the one completed over here is followed by an abc and then followed by another three legs up which is basically a flat type of correction and this is a running flat because this last one two three four five did not go beyond the low of the first a wave so considering this particular wave as an abc x abc would lead us to believe that this count of wave 1 2 3 4 and 5 could be also possible here leading to a leading diagonal followed by waves down as a b c x a b c and that would mean that this is 1 and this is 2 and then we are progressing as uh, first of the third second of the third and third of the third so that is also there but that is not an issue at least as of now because we all know that for computing the exact or approximate targets for the third wave we will need the exact place of or the position of the first wave and at least as of now it doesn't matter right now what matters is that we focus on catching the opportunity if this third wave is actually in progression and we look at this uh, buy on pullback and buy on breakout strategy so i want to point out this one more possibility that i just thought of and it's more like a forced count i mean it's not really likely count the probability of this happening is uh, quite less but nevertheless it's a probability and i would like to point that out right now so in this least uh, possible kind of count what i'm thinking of this is that uh, 
if wave one is completed over here and we can count this as an abc type of or a corrective type of structure okay so if this is say what an abc type of structure or whatever corrective type of structure wxy type of structure so if that is the case then there exists the possibility that this could actually be a 3 3 5 kind of formation which would be something like abc abc followed by 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we would already have our first corrective lag over here this would be our second corrective lag over here followed by the last leg of the flat which should be something 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is obviously an odd count because counting this as three waves is not a very fitting structure however we can force it over here by looking at this as a this as b and this as 1 2 3 4 and 5 let me do it properly a and b 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so this is obviously not a very fitting count that's why i just said it's a forced count but this is certainly a possibility that we should keep in our minds while trading this market but one more thing that is important that is coming out here is that even if this odd count or less probable count plays out the current market direction from this point onwards is down and uh, if the main count that i'm thinking plays out this is the forced count okay pointing down if the main count is to play out then also the market direction is down at least till this support region of uh, 1230 and 1220 okay so both are pointing down that means whatever we do we have to look to sell on highs and uh, that should be the first thing you keep in mind sell on highs look for short type of setups if you are intraday trader and uh, basically that was all i wanted to discuss in this video i would also like to point out that i do have a course on elite paves if you want to learn from video lectures i will leave the link for that in the description i will also like to point out that since i'm using trading view as my primary platform now and their services are just brilliant i have become an affiliate partner with them and uh, that means a certain amount of commission would be passed on to me if someone joins trading view from the link that i provide in the description and that way you can indirectly support the channel and uh, as always don't forget to share the video so that i get more views and more motivation to make stuff like this thank you for watching see you in the next one